Good evening everybody and welcome back to the vlog. I never start the vlogs in the evening, but I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and why not start it at night time instead of in the morning? I look very oily and very greasy right now. I've actually just got back from the Chris Brown concert. I have a wristband on my wrist. Earlier on today, I was editing my vlog, my last vlog that went up. I just sat on the sofa. I actually have a very unflattering video of when it happened. And my boyfriend presented me with two kind of like pieces of paper. And one of them said, cook me dinner. And the other one says, Chris Brown concert. I have to say, he held onto the piece of paper that said the Chris Brown concert for dear life. <laughs> but I actually picked that one and we actually went to a Chris Brown concert tonight, which was such a nice surprise and a little bit of a change from just staying in and cooking dinner. I don't know if any of you out there are Chris Brown fans. I definitely was in my day. I used to love his dancing and even to like now, he's such a good dancer, but I couldn't get over how old some of the songs were. Like it made me feel so old. Like, you know the song, run it, run it, if I need it, na 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 na. I mean, I better stop singing because I'm so good. I'll probably get copyrighted by um, my great singing. But so many of his good songs, like the really well-known ones, came out from 2005 to 2012. Like, I'm sorry, that was such a long time ago. It was a very nice and spontaneous evening, but we went on the tube and my skin feels like it needs a really, really good clean. Whenever you come back from a concert, don't you feel like you're singing the songs for the next three days? Like, There's a hat all over the world tonight, cause your hat's all over the world tonight. Ooh, gotta feel like I'm here. One thing about me is I'm always going to sing the lyrics wrong. Sorry, why are my eyes going so red? Anyway, as I was in a chatty mood, because I've been singing my heart out all evening. I thought I would just come home and do my skincare routine with you all because I very much like sharing this with you guys. So I'm just doing my first cleanse. I've taken off my makeup as always with cotton wool pads and micellar water. Although I have been using the Elemis um, Pro Collagen Balm, but you're actually balancing on it right now and I don't want to disturb my tripod this evening. So tonight I just use cotton wool pads. And now I'm using the Cordially oil-based cleanser, but it doesn't give you spots. Cleanse one down and I'm just using a fresh towel and a little flannel just to pat dry my face. And then I'm gonna go in with the second cleanse. I feel like the second cleanse is game changing. If you don't do it, add it into your routine because I feel like it makes such a difference. And then with the other side of the flannel, the side I haven't used already, I once again, just pat dry my skin and also my neck because I did put a little bit of product on my neck. Next step in my skincare routine is the most important part. I love this sound. I feel like it's so satisfying. This is my Skin and Me Daily Doser. Now guys, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, been watching my vlogs, if you've watched my kind of last six months, no, it's even been longer than that. I was gonna say six months worth of skincare routines, but I've been using this since about June, is it May or June of last year? That's when I tried this for the first time and I've used it, unless I've had too much to drink, every single night since. So if you don't know about this, this is the Skin and Me Daily Doser and inside here is skincare designed for me. So I take a little online consultation or you take a little online consultation on the Skin and Me website. You answer a questionnaire about all of your skincare concerns. So I've said before, my biggest concerns, it's hard to believe now, but my biggest concern was spots, acne. I had bad skin for my entire life, or definitely my teenage years, and then, well, pretty much all of my 20s, I always had bad skin. There was probably never a day where I didn't have a spot on my face, like I never had clear skin. And now, I've said it so many times before, but my skin is so clear. I still get the odd spot, but that's just normal. But this has honestly, it sounds so dramatic, but it's honestly changed my life. I couldn't recommend it more. I've got all my friends using it. It really is some of the best skincare out there. And what I love so much about it is the fact that it's personalized for you. So what is inside my daily doser, like the ingredients inside mine, won't necessarily be the same inside of yours because you know, we've got different skincare concerns and we've got different skin goals. My goals, funny enough, have actually changed a little bit. I'm actually about to redo my consultation because after 
Now, I can't remember how many months it is. I think this is the second time I've been asked to kind of like update sort of the questionnaire on how I'm feeling about my skin. But now because my spots have gone and I've had clear skin for the best part of six months, my skincare goals have kind of changed and I now really want to focus on the signs of aging. And that's the really great thing about Skin Me, you kind of adapt it to suit you. After you apply the cream out of your daily doser, which I actually didn't show you, did I? But if you're new here, when you take this off, you turn this until it clicks and it dispenses exactly the right amount for you to put in your face. So that way you're not overusing the product or underusing it and there's no waste at all. But another huge difference I've seen in my skin, other than the spots, like the spots are nowhere to be seen, but also it's the texture, like the texture of my skin. You can never properly see it on camera. It just completely transformed my skin. And I feel like as well, it's given me so much more confidence. I actually said in the last vlog that I use a foundation and it's kind of like almost like a tinted moisturizer. It's from Hermes. It is a great foundation by the way. But a year ago, I would never ever have used that because it just wouldn't have been full coverage enough for my skin. I'd have felt like I needed to wear like a heavy foundation to cover up any blemishes or spots I had going on. But now the fact my skin is so much clearer and it just gives me so much more confidence. I wear far less makeup and I just feel so much better in myself. So if you've been thinking about trying it, I could not recommend it enough. And the great thing is when I work with Skin Me, they give me a discount code. I'm gonna leave it on screen. I believe it's Freya3, and that gets you your first daily doser for £3.50, which is pretty insane. As it's usually £24.99 a month, I pay the subscription. It's worth every single penny. That gives you skincare, Every single day of the month, it gets delivered right to your door through the post. It's so convenient and for me, it is the best spent money ever. So try it. Let me know how you get on and I hope your results are as good as mine. Then my last few steps before bed is obviously eyelash serum. You guys know that I always use UK Lash. I say you're meant to only put one swipe across the top of your eyelids. I definitely do more than one swipe because... I hope that makes them grow a little bit longer. And then last but not least, it's been about 10 minutes now because I've actually been on my phone as well as waffling to you guys. But I'm gonna use this Premier Crew moisturizer from Quarterly, which I love. I have quite a lot on my hand. I didn't even take that much. I'm really gonna pop it on my neck as well because my neck is feeling so dry at the moment. Actually, last step, I'm gonna pop on some eye cream as well. This is also from Quarterly. And my skincare routine is as simple as that but it's so effective my skin now is better than it was in my late teens early 20s and even last year to be honest it is so good i can't tell you how happy i'm with it anyway i am off to bed and i shall see you guys in the morning Yeah, 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 yeah. We went last night. It was so good. Did you go? Have you been? No. Oh, no, I don't know why I see. Like all the girls going to the crowd. <laughs> it looks incredible. Yeah, it was so good. It was such a good night. Um, yeah, I'm all good. I'm not bad at all. Well, good morning, guys. I have done a lot this morning, but I haven't actually spoken to you yet. So good morning, even though it is pushing the afternoon. I just come off of a call with my therapist, Rochelle, my life coach, should I say had a really good session with her. We did meditation for like half an hour, laid on the floor. And then you go through all of these kind of, well, she talks you through it. If you'd have said to me six months ago that I would be meditating on my dressing room floor, I would probably laugh in your face. However, it really does make you feel so much more grounded and relaxed. And it just changes my whole kind of feeling in my body before I do it. It's so clever. Anyway, I'm just doing my makeup, getting ready for the rest of the day because I'm hoping if I have time and the light stays light that I'm going to film something. But in the meantime, I thought I'd answer a couple of questions with you whilst I'm doing my makeup because why not? I actually popped a question box on my Instagram and I'm just going to go through a few of them and answer some could we get a hair care routine at some point your hair always looks so beautiful it's not really looking so beautiful today but thank you very much i actually am planning on filming a really in-depth reel for my instagram showing all of the hair care products i use and how i style my hair let me know if you'd be interested in that i wanted to do like a really detailed and in-depth one then you guys can save it and hopefully it helps you as well okay someone said to me did you ever imagine that you were going to be an amazing youtuber well 
Thank you very much because that's very sweet to say that I'm amazing. I'm unsure if I am actually amazing though. I mean, I'm just winging it. I'm just, I'm just taking every day as it comes. Did I ever imagine this was going to be my job? Well, I probably didn't ever imagine it to be honest. I can't lie, but I did always watch YouTube and I loved watching YouTube videos, but I never really thought about making them myself. I wish I'd started years before I did, but I just didn't even think it was kind of like a thing. Or I watch people online, I've said this before, I just saw them as kind of like TV stars or celebrities. I didn't realise they were normal people like you and I. So no, I definitely didn't imagine it, but I'm so happy that this is what I do. This could be my favourite question. Someone asked, Birkin or a Kelly? That's a very tough one. Well, it's actually not that tough for me. I would have either, don't get me wrong. I'm not fussy. However, a Birkin for me is definitely the one that comes first. I want a Birkin 25. Togo leather, gold hardware, and I'd like it in April because that would be a great 30th birthday present to myself, but we'll see how that goes. Would you ever move anywhere other than the UK? Now, I always used to say no to this question. I'd always be like, no, I love the UK. I would never move, yada, yada, yada. However, I still do love the UK. I know people slate it a lot, but I do still think it is a great country. Like, you know, we do have some really positive things. The weather isn't really one of them, but overall, I really do love England. And whenever I go away and then I come back to the UK, I just feel like oh, I'm home. However, my partner would really like to move to Dubai. The only reason he hasn't moved is because of me. It makes me feel kind of bad, but also makes me feel quite special. And he's asked me so many times, like, please, can we move? Please, can we move? And for me, it was just something that I never wanted to do. I really love Dubai for a holiday, but I just can't ever see myself living there. But as the years have gone past, I am kind of a tiny bit, I hate to say it, but kind of warm into the idea. Something about London and the UK right now, and I don't want to scare anyone by saying these things because it's it's not that bad, but something about London and the UK, it's not that safe and crime rates are huge and there's a lot of other things as well that would make me want to move but Dubai is the opposite to that it's so safe it's such a safe place the weather's always good well most of the time it's good like you can wear your watch in Dubai and drive a nice car and not be worried that you're about to get robbed where in London I'm sorry but I sometimes park my car and I hold my breath when I go back to my car that it's still going to be there and not have been robbed. Like, seriously, it's bad. I cannot remember the last time I wore my watch in London. Like, I've put it into a safe. It doesn't even stay with me anymore. A lot of my jewellery I don't wear. And that's just a side of the UK oh, I just think is so sad. However, there are other parts of the UK, like where my parents live and things, where crime rates are nothing like they are in London. So don't get me wrong, the whole of the UK isn't, like, terrible. But London itself, I mean, I don't personally think it's great. The eyelashes were that bad. I've just had to get a cotton wool pad and take the mascara off. And I'm going to try again. I feel like I need to add some kind of like cream to this because it needs to be loosened up. It's gone all thick. By the way, this is the Bobbi Brown a Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It smells so good. I used it today as my moisturiser and it went on so nicely. I'm sure this stuff has actually won awards. It's such a good base for your foundation. I don't know if this is going to go well though. I'm unsure what I'm doing here. But long story short on moving outside the UK, as I've already mentioned, I love the UK. I can't see myself moving anytime soon, like in the immediate future. However, never say never. And I'd love a second home in Ibiza. That's something that's always been on my like goal board in life or whatever. I've always wanted to have a place in Ibiza. So maybe one day I'll make that happen. I do not know why my eyelashes went so bad today. Like, what is going on? I have so much mascara on my eyelid as well. Anyway, next question. Someone said, do you see yourself moving anytime soon? So obviously we've spoken about moving outside the UK, but moving out of this flat, yes, I hope so. I hope so very much. I've only paid my rent until August of this year. And then I'm hoping, well, I feel like I'm definitely gonna move in August. I feel like by then, I'm definitely going to move because if I'm quite honest with you, I don't want to pay this rent anymore. It's just ludicrous amount of money. If I told you how much my landlord put my rent up for this next year, you would actually throw up. The increase was insane. And the only reason I paid it was because I just didn't have enough time to move. I tried to look at different flats and just didn't really find anywhere. And I just felt the stress was too much to move. But I've obviously got a bit of time between now and August to kind of sort myself out and find somewhere else. What bag do you think of purchasing next? Well, I obviously want a Birkin and a Kelly and I hope my next purchase is a Birkin. Like we are manifesting it into the universe, even though people hate it when I talk about manifesting, but we're just putting it out into the universe, guys. So that is gonna be my next handbag purchase. However, another bag that I really love at the moment 
is the Lady Dior is not usually my style. I feel like it's a little bit too girly. However, I recently saw it in grey in the smaller size and it's so nice. And I don't own a grey bag. And with the smaller size, it comes with a chain strap. And I felt that it just looked kind of a little bit more edgy. I love it. I feel like after getting the Birkin, the Grey Lady Dior could be maybe my next purchase. I'm boycotting Chanel at the moment. Like, their prices are ludicrous and I'm tapping out. By the way, this lip gloss from Dior in the shade 038 is such a nice colour. Like, it's quite a dark gloss. I don't know if you can see it. Considering hair extensions, but worried they will ruin my natural hair. Thoughts on that? Well, I can't really talk on all types of extensions. I mentioned in a recent vlog, I do actually have tape extensions. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see it just there. They blend so well into your hair, but that is a tape extension. I have two of these in my hair. So this is how thick they are. And they're exactly the same length as my normal hair. And I think the first time I had these in, so I have like two on each side of my head. The other one is down there somewhere first time i had them done was i want to say like september of last year and then i've had them done every time i've had my hair done since and i love them and i touch wood have seen absolutely no damage to my natural hair it hasn't kind of pulled or like made a bald patch i was a little bit worried about that i haven't seen any damage at all i think they're amazing but obviously i can't talk for all different types of extensions because these are the only ones i've ever had and i only have these for thickness like it's not my whole head if you're thinking about getting extensions for thickness i honestly couldn't recommend it more these are beauty work tapes i believe they're beauty works tapes yeah just want to say i adore you keep doing what you're doing guys i love you there's so many messages like that you're actually all so nice to me i can't even cope i feel like i honestly owe my life to you all i mention it all the time and i hate saying it too much on youtube because sometimes when i watch youtubers and then they go on about how much they love their community it kind of cringes me out however I do actually love you guys and I appreciate you all so much. I read all of your comments, every single like, even if it's just a view, even if you don't even say anything, even if you're just like a sort of ghost follower, subscriber, whatever, I still appreciate you. You're all amazing and I feel like I just have like hundreds of thousands of friends on the internet. Anyway guys, I feel like I could sit here chatting to you all day and answering all of these questions but I need to get some breakfast and I also have the biggest to-do list to kind of tick off today. We're doing all right though. I can't lie, we're doing okay but... I need to crack on because the hours are just sliding by. Okay, breakfast. I think I'm gonna have the same breakfast as I've had for the last week. I always do this with food. Like, I decide I like something and then I eat it to the point that I hate it. Like, I just can't eat it and then I get bored of it and then I move on to something else. But I've been eating gluten-free porridge with oat milk and berries and it's very nice. I mean, it looks stunning. I also need to take my vitamins, which I keep in cute little pots in the cupboard. So I have this one, which is JS Health for bloating. This one is for my skin, also from JS Health. Then I take these two, which are from um, Hair Burst, guys. These gummies from Hair Burst really help with hair growth, but they taste so good. Like. I look forward to them every day because it's like I'm eating sweets. They just taste so nice. And I also take a multivitamin from Ritual, which has basically got lots of different things in it that I need. I'm going to add some berries to my very sad looking porridge. This isn't actually my favourite peanut butter anymore. I love the one, is it from... I don't know what it's called. This used to be my favourite, but I'm sorry, Whole Earth, you have competition nowadays. I can't remember what the other one's called. I think it's called like Mankind or something like that. Such a good peanut butter. And there we have a beautiful breakfast, which I'm going to go and sit and eat peacefully whilst I quickly um, answer some of my emails and then I have a lot to do. need to go and refresh my hair because I didn't wash it today so this is yesterday's Dyson hair which is definitely looking a little bit limp so I'm just gonna re-blow dry the ends this is so weird but I have this bottle of water permanently in my dressing room because I damp my hair with it when I'm about to re-dyson it it's a little trick if you use a Dyson constantly have a bottle of water on hand so you can damp your hair because I'm sure you already know, but the Dyson Air Wrap, it doesn't work. Well, it will work if your hair is dry, but it won't hold. Your hair has to be damp for it to kind of hold. Kind of crazy 
crazy but i leave it now for a couple of minutes just to cool down these clips i got from amazon they were really inexpensive but they kind of hold the curls in place so then they last a little bit longer okay this probably isn't long enough but i haven't really got any more time to wait so i'm just going to take these out now i always wish the curls stayed as bouncy as they do in the beginning i can give you an update though as the day goes on on how well it holds so after I've taken out the clips, I then just get a comb like this one. This actually really makes a difference. For a long time, I was always using like my tangle teaser or a brush like this to brush out the curls. But this is the kind of brush you need to be using. By the way, this looks so gross. This is my hair extension brush, but anyway. So just comb out the curls like so. Look how bouncy it is to start with. Imagine if it stayed like this. I love it so much. And I now just need to go and wet my fringe and blow dry that forward. Stars hair oil this hair oil smells amazing it is this one the elixir the one in the gold bottle hopefully that's focusing it smells so good and i just pop that through the ends just so it smells good and also looks super silky as well so that's how i freshen up my hair on day two without washing it and blow drying it all over again i actually sometimes think that day two hair looks better than day one i am about to film a reel so i'm not gonna be able to vlog for a while because i use the same camera for my reels as i do for vlogging but i just want to show you a few bits that i picked up from and other stories the other day they've been on this rail i want to say for at least four days and i haven't even tried them on but first thing i picked up was this blazer it's made out of 55 percent recycled wool which i thought was quite good I picked it up in a size 38, which is a size 10, and it was £179. As I say, I haven't tried any of this stuff on myself yet, but let's see how it looks. Now, the first impression is it's quite oversized. It definitely is quite big. This, I usually go between like a size 8 and a 10. It's also really long. Can you see how long it is? But I feel like if I sort of push the sleeves up, I wish the back of it, oh, it is split. I was about to say, I wish the back of it was split, but it is. It's just got one of the stitches on it. I see so many people walking about and they haven't undone that stitch. I think some people think it's like part of the design. If any of you buy a jacket and on the back of it has this little cross stitch, please unstitch it because it's not meant to be there. It's just the way it comes from the factories. Anyway, this is it on. What do we think? I feel like it's not anything crazy. It's not anything overly special, but it's a really, really nice kind of material. I feel like it's warm, but it's not too warm. So it'd be perfect for this kind of weather where we're very in between seasons right now. I feel like I could have probably gotten away with the smaller size, but then come winter, it'd be really nice to kind of layer up with a jumper underneath it again. Whenever I'm shopping, I'm always thinking of how I can wear these pieces in different seasons. Like it's very rare, unless it's a pair of shorts or a skirt or something like that, that I'll only wear it in one season. I always think, can I wear this again in winter? And then it kind of makes the purchase a little bit more worthwhile as well. Now, I love this. I haven't tried it on, but I do know that it molts because even when I hung it up, there was hair all over my hands. So this is mohair. I picked it up in a size medium and it was 129 pounds, which is kind of pricey. Okay. I love this. It's nothing too special or too crazy. It's so simple, but I just absolutely love it. I have to say it is a very similar color to the blazer. So I think I'm only going to keep one of them, whether it will be the blazer or this cardigan. I feel like the cardigan's going to win. The only downside, it definitely does molt. Like I can feel it all on my hands. But as far as mohair goes, this isn't actually that itchy on my skin. It actually feels really nice. I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, it does look quite nice with this t-shirt. I think what it would look nicer with is a t-shirt or a vest that was a little bit lower. Like imagine a white vest or my Loewe vest, for example. A pair of jeans, this over the top, super simple, but just a really great outfit. A pair of trainers. I actually just bought a pair of New Balance 550s. They should arrive, maybe even today. A grey pair. I think they'd look really nice with this. So this next piece is also made out of responsible wool. It was £99 and once again, I'm wearing this in a size medium. If I can ever get the buttons undone, I will show you it on. Something I hate worn together is white and cream. I know a lot of people do it, but for me, it's just the worst thing ever. So looking at this cream cardigan with this white t-shirt right now is actually hurting my eyes. I'm just trying it on for size. Like this is definitely not a styling haul, guys. This is just me showing you 
a few bits on. Something I love about this cardigan is the fact there are tortoiseshell buttons. You guys know how much I love a tortoiseshell button. And it feels so nice on. Like, it's really casual, really chilled. Once again, imagine, like, a cream top underneath this. Either we could do, like, a whole cream look, so cream trousers, with all gold accessories, like, really gold jewellery and stuff. I think it would look really lovely with this. Or if you don't want to wear cream trousers, you could just wear either black or a pair of denim jeans like this. I think cardigans are a great option for spring because they keep you warm and you can take them off so easily as well. I'm thinking, like, imagine, like, a low neckline and a couple of gold necklace is stacked then with this on very chilled but really effective i don't know if you're going to be able to see the bottom of these from there but these are kind of like a skinny jean like a skinny straight jeans so they're not too skinny they're also not too straight they're somewhere in between that's probably a really bad description i do really like them however i feel like they come up too high on me but as some of you probably already know i have a very short torso so i have a really short torso and long legs so i have to get kind of like low rise jeans because then they end up being mid rise on me. Any high waisted jeans end up just underneath my boobs, like they just don't look okay. And I feel like these are probably a little bit too high, but how do we think they look with this blazer? I haven't really looked myself. I actually think they look really quite nice. I love the darker blue denim. I feel like a lot of jeans that I own are quite light wash denim. Against this blazer, white t-shirt, let's say a little pair of kind of mules, like my Gucci mules, black handbag. I feel like this could be a very easy spring look. Anyway, I need to get this reel filmed. I obviously can't film myself doing it because, as I've already mentioned, I need to use this camera. So I will see you guys when I'm done. I've just finished filming, but I have no time to talk because I now need to edit what I've just done because this needs to be done by the end of the day. And it is 3 p.m. and it's gonna take me at least an hour to finish and everyone else's day Finishes at 5 p.m. So I have only a couple of hours to get this done. I'm gonna drink some water because I feel like I haven't drank barely any water today. I try and drink three liters a day. And right now I haven't even drank like half a liter. And I'm gonna sit here in my office. This is my office, guys. <laughs> Working from home is a blessing. I mean, I went to a place of work for 11 years. So I understand what it's like going somewhere, but it is so nice to be able to sit at home. However, I do really miss like the social because I don't speak to anyone when I'm at home. Like I might voice note my friends or my boyfriend pops in and out, but I find it so lonely working from home. I don't know if any of you work from home and you feel the same. Another thing I find is sometimes I can go like two, three, sometimes four days where I don't even leave my apartment, which is so bad. But because I work here, I don't need to leave. And when I'm busy, I don't have the time to leave. So sometimes it gets the evening and I think, oh, maybe I should go for a walk. But then it gets too dark and late and I just don't. But tonight I'm going to try and make a conscious effort of going to the gym. I feel like I need to go to the gym tonight. I need to burn off some energy and burn off some calories. So before we go to the supermarket, I'm going to go to the gym. Well, I'm sorry I haven't checked in since I was editing, and that was about three and a half hours ago, but the only reason I haven't done that is because I have only just finished editing. I was meant to go to the gym, I was also meant to go to the supermarket. None of those things have happened, and I haven't even actually completely finished editing, but I've had to just call it a day, well, for half an hour, just so I can make dinner. Fortunately, my lovely boyfriend went to the shops for me, so we have... Lots of crisps. This is the only thing when he does go to the shops. This is what he comes back with. We have a variety of different crisps. Biscuits. Two different kinds. A tray of Krispy Kremes. And a load of other unhealthy junk in the fridge. But you did get salmon, sweet potato, broccoli and asparagus. And that's what I'm making for dinner. Because I'm such a chef nowadays. This feels so weird that I've been wearing this jumper in this entire video, but it has only been one day, so that is why. I need to clear up before um, I make dinner though, because I feel like this is making me overwhelmed. Something else I got, which is really healthy, were these chili coated peanuts, which are so nice. Do you want more? I've actually really been cooking. I've been doing roasted veg, my own rice, 
picking the salmon, like doing everything. But tonight he has bought all of the ready-made stuff again. So we've got um, a pack of vegetables, sweet potato fries and salmon, which I'm not really complaining about because this will be very easy to cook. Someone said they'll give you 25 million, but you want to spend one year, one year in jail? Would you make the next jail for you? Oh, yeah. She'd do it as well. Well, dinner was, I want to say it was delicious, but I actually undercooked the salmon and then had to put it back in the air fryer which don't even know how I managed to do that. I'm actually sad I never managed to leave the house today. By the way, look how cool these are. I forgot to use them last night. But these are like little cuffs. So when you wash your face, the water doesn't run down your arms. It runs into these. How cool is that? I'm not actually going to bed yet. I wish I was going to the gym or for a run, but it's too late for that. What is the time? Okay, it's quarter to nine. But I'm going to take my makeup off just because I've had it on all day. And then I want to go with a fake tan as well. And I also need to steam all of my clothes that I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. So I need to get on with that. I'm gonna wash my face and take all of my makeup. I'm not gonna do it with you because I mean, you saw it at the beginning of this vlog, but just a little reminder that you can get the Skin and Me Daily Doser, which is the skincare that I swear by. You can get it for just £3.50. And as I've already said, if you've been thinking about trying it, now is the perfect time as you can use my code. Isn't taking off your mascara just so satisfying? Okay, it's late. I need to go to bed because I've got to get up extremely early, but I also need to fake tan. Something I hate doing is sleeping in fake tan, but sometimes you just got to do it because I can't cope with how pale I am. And tomorrow I need to look nice and bronze. The fake tan brand that I swear by is Saint-Tropez. I love it so much. I never used to use this particular tan. I used to use a different one. It was in like a plastic bottle. This one's like a can and it's a mousse, however, I have run out of this. If I had a pound for every bottle I've gone through of this stuff, I'd have at least 100 pounds. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I use this tan all the time. However, my friend Ruby is also an avid fake tanner, and she said to me the other day that I should try this one from saint Tropez, which looks like this. It's in a black bottle. This is dark. It's meant to give a really deep tan, so, I thought I'd give it a go. I bought this from Boots, and if we put it on tonight, I can give you an update in the morning. Something I love about Saint Tropez tan, though, is the fact it doesn't have that horrible fake tan smell like lots of fake tans have. And also, I find other fake tans, as they start to wear off, they go kind of like tiger bread. There's another tan brand. Is it called Saint Moritz? And I sometimes still do use it if it's the only thing in the shop because I feel like they stock that everywhere. But when that fades, my skin goes so dry and it's like tiger bread. But with Central Pay, I find that it kind of fades really naturally and I don't go patchy or dry. I'm about to get naked. So I know I've already flashed my nipple once on YouTube, but I don't plan on doing it again. So I'll see you when I'm slightly more tanned. Well, if you can't already tell, I put some on my cheeks. I usually use Tan Lux face drops, but I saw this girl on TikTok doing like a contour and I gave it a go, but I think I look kind of ridiculous. I feel like my boobs right now in this top are not looking cute. But my verdict on the tan. So this one is the one that I usually use. This one goes on so much better and it also smells better than this one. This one on application feels a lot more hydrating and doesn't go on patchy. Now this is the first time I've ever tried this one. I feel like it was more drying and I also felt like application was a lot harder. It definitely seems like it's a bit patchy. I've kind of evened it out, but we'll see how it looks in the morning. It is definitely darker on application than this one as well, but obviously we'll see how it looks tomorrow. I quickly need to tan my hands as well, and I thought I'd show you how to do this, because I feel like tanning your hands is so hard to get right, and I feel like I've nailed it. So after I've applied all of my fake tan, I then wash my hands thoroughly, so there's nothing left on my hands and I don't use the tan I've just used I use this this is the gradual tan I'm sorry look at my cheeks this is the gradual tan from tan Lux. I take a little bit in my hand and then I just massage it in imagine if you're just like rubbing in hand cream basically but I also take it a little bit further down my wrist and kind of blend it in all around my hand and wrist area I always find that fake tan really clings around here so I really try and work it in 
to all parts of my hand. Once I've done that, the most important part is to wash the palms of my hand because if you don't, when you wake up, the palms of your hands will be bright orange and it's not a look. So to do this, I just get a towel, I damp it. I mean, you're probably gonna ruin your towel doing this. So a baby wipe would be better. And then I just really scrub the palms of my hand to get off all of the product. And that is it. I'm ready for bed, by the way. We just need to ignore this. This is the cardboard from my mirror that's currently in my bathtub because there's no room in my flat to store it. Anyway, I shall see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys, even though it isn't actually the morning. It is currently 3 p.m., but I had a lot to do this morning. I want to show you my tan because obviously I tanned last night and I washed it all off. My hands, I said I'd become a pro at tanning my hands. They look very dark, but they're not patchy at all. Look at my nails, though. I don't know what happened. You know when they start to lift and then it all gets caught in your hair? Look at them. I'm going to go and get them done a little bit later on today if I have time. Anyway, the tan, I'm actually very pleased with it. I've got a skirt on right now. And I feel like even though it went on very patchy, it hasn't turned out patchy at all. And it is quite dark. I don't know if it's showing dark on camera. But no, it looks really nice. I'll have to keep you updated, let's say, in the next vlog and how it fades. I think between the mousse, well, they're both mousses, actually. But you know the one in the can, the white one? I think I still prefer the one in the can, the white one but they are both pretty good. I've just been filming a reel this morning. I've tried something very different for me, taking me out of my comfort zone when it comes to Instagram reels. It's kind of like a workwear haul. We'll see how it turns out, but if you see it on Instagram, please like it and comment because it's honestly taken me four hours to film it. This was actually one of the outfits from it. This isn't very workwear vibes, but the idea of the video was I was kind of doing outfits that you can wear to work and then outfits that you can sort of wear casually as well. So this was one of the casual outfits and I absolutely love it. I really love this skirt. I don't know if you can see it if I can't get far back enough. I'll add one of the cutaways so you can see it in full. But the whole outfit is from New Look and then obviously I have on a pair of Converse. I feel like this would be really nice in spring. But anyway guys, I am actually going to end this video here because well, just because I feel like it's going to be very, very long. I hope, as always, you've enjoyed it. I feel like you've really spent the last 24 hours with me. And you probably now realise how boring my life is. I spend a lot of time, a lot of time, in this apartment working. I mean, I still haven't been outside since Monday, which is really terrible. I'm going to go for a walk later and, as I say, get my nails done. But I do spend a lot of time on my own working, which is fine because I really enjoy what I do, but it just kind of shows you guys that it's not always shopping at Harrods and buying a new handbag at all. There's a lot of this as well. Anyway, I love you all so much. Thank you as always for watching. Take care, have a good week, and I shall hopefully, if all goes to plan video-wise, I will hopefully see you on Sunday. Take care guys. Bye bye!